Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me uh, for the talk today. So my name is Jun Tao Yu uh, from Cranberry University. So today I'm going to talk about our uh, paper on multitask learning based neural bridging reference resolution. And this work is in collaboration with uh, Massimo Puisu. So let's first take a look what is a bridging reference. So a bridging reference is uh, dealing with uh, associative relationships between the mentions instead of the identity relationships uh, that is uh, normally dealing with a coreference. So take a look at the example here. Uh, so uh, we have the, we can find the coreference links, uh, the uh, Baker, uh, Bakersfield supermarket, the business and it. And uh, uh, for the region, we have the customer, which is a customer of the uh, Bakersfield supermarket. So there are, a couple of challenges uh, for the uh, bridging reference. So the first challenge is the different corpus follows a slightly different uh, annotation scheme. So there are two uh, major uh, annotation scheme uh, for the uh, for the bridging, the definition of the bridging. Uh, the first one is the bridging based on the uh, relational nouns. Uh, such uh, bridging relationships uh, uh, needs uh, uh, antecedent in order to be interpretable. Such as an example here, John worked towards the house, the door is open. So the door is associated to the house. And another uh, bridging type uh, is called, uh, it's more general bridges. Uh, uh, this kind of bridges uh, can be interpreted uh, uh, by itself. Such as the example here, I went to Spain last year. I particularly like Madrid. So the Madrid itself is already interpretable. And uh, uh, the second challenge is uh, data, uh, data is very sparse. So we don't have much uh, 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 bridging reference uh, in the corpus, uh, such as the largest corpus here we can find for the IRAL, uh, IST only contains around uh, 3K uh, examples. All the other corpus are much uh, smaller, uh, such as the IceNode corpus only contains uh, 600 uh, examples. And uh, uh, as I mentioned before, the first challenge uh, is a different uh, uh, annotation scheme. So the RAW uh, annotated both, uh, uh, both types of the region, and uh, the IceNode Bash and Science Corp only annotated the first types of the region reference. So in terms of the system uh, architectures, so we used, uh, we adapted uh, the state of the art uh, uh, coreference systems, uh, the Liata system. And uh, uh, the left hand side, the left hand part uh, is uh, basically the uh, Liata system. The only exception is we replaced the, uh, the Elmo embeddings with the bird embeddings, as the later work shows that the bird embedding uh, improves uh, the performance. And on the right hand side, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, we use a multitask learning framework uh, by training the bridging and the reference. Uh, together to in order to improve the performance of the bridging reference uh, to solve the problems uh, due to the lack of the uh, training data. And uh, also uh, by using a neural-based uh, system, we naturally solve the problem uh, of the different definitions of the uh, uh, bridges, uh, which basically uh, we don't uh, use any, uh, I mean, corpus-specific features in our system and uh, the system is purely trained on the uh, training corpus. So uh, whether the annotation is uh, uh, any uh, types of the region, it doesn't matter for the uh, neural-based system. So the first things we did is we uh, trying to uh, do a parameter tuning and say how uh, how we do the, uh, how how should we share the uh, uh, share the uh, the networks uh, between the uh, reference and bridges uh, can achieve uh, uh, the best result. So we first, the first things we did is uh, we uh, using our baseline system that trained only on the bridging reference. As we can see here, uh, uh, we first evaluated an antecedent selection task, which means that we use a GOAT uh, bridging enough for us, and the task is trying only trying to detect the antecedent uh, for the anaphora. So the, for IST, we have already achieved a reasonably good result, which is 47.4. And for the IS node, because the corpus is smaller, so we only achieved 33.8. Uh, by sharing the uh, Elmon and uh, the, the 
not among the uh, embedding and the LSTM layers, uh, the system can achieve already a large improvement. And the improvement uh, is larger for the ice node because uh, uh, the data set is uh, rather smaller. And if we further sharing uh, additional uh, layers of the feed for neural network, it can uh, further improve the performance for both the IST and the ice node corpus. And the best result is achieved by sharing uh, one feed forward new network. So in total, the system has uh, two feed forward new network, two hidden layers. And uh, uh, by uh, after we uh, find the best uh, configurations for the multitask learnings, we apply to a more complex uh, task, uh, which is uh, full bridging resolution. So for the full bridging resolutions, we also tested uh, on the IST and the ice node corpus. And as a byproduct, uh, it will uh, it will also have uh, uh, F one scores uh, uh, for the anaphora recognition because we do not uh, we don't use uh, uh, the the gold anaphora anymore. So here we are uh, trying to detect the anaphora bridging anaphora as well. As we can see here, if we use only the uh, bridging uh, corpus alone, we can achieve only uh, thirty point eight or thirty point five for the ice node corpus. Uh, for the full bridging and uh, uh, also quite limited uh, uh, 20 ish for the anaphora recognition and if we use the multitask learning uh, approach uh, by training it uh, jointly with the reference together uh, we can uh, largely improve the uh, both the full bridging uh, f1 scores and anaphora recognition uh, but we uh, still notice that the recall uh, for the uh, the recall for the anaphora and the recall for the full bridging resolution is much lower than the precision, so which uh, we suspect is mainly because of the corpus contains way more uh, co-reference examples than the bridging examples. So the uh, bridging examples uh, it's a little bit underfitting. So we did some unsampling on the reference uh, uh, reference part of the corpus. So we randomly uh, uh, fit out some of the uh, corpus from the co-reference uh, part of the uh, of the training data. And then we did, after we did those undersampling, uh, the records for both anaphora recognition and the full bridging were largely improved. As a result, the F1 score also uh, improved. And after we uh, got uh, uh, our best settings, we uh, further analyzed on more corpus. We evaluated on uh, six uh, major uh, bridging corpus. Uh, first, we uh, tested on the antecedent selection uh, task. As we can see here, our system is the only system reported uh, reports results uh, for all six corpus, and yet achieved uh, uh, quite the uh, uh, quite competitive result, uh, the, the best result for five of them. The only exception is for the ice node. This is mainly because the whole system is mainly uh, tailored for the ice node, and the performance drops if you apply uh, the same systems uh, to the corpus such as ice T. Or the batch coppers. And uh, uh, in addition to the antecedent selection, we also uh, evaluated on the six coppers for the full bridging and the report to the byproduct of the NFR recognition uh, F1 scores as well. So the previous works um, uh, from the Rusica uh, find that uh, if they uh, remove the gold reference resolution, uh, Anaphoras, uh, the performance gets improved. This does make sense. Uh, because uh, it, uh, I mean, the task become easier if you remove the gold reference anaphoras, and they only reported those results. So we also uh, did the same uh, uh, procedure, follow their procedure, and uh, to compare with their result. But we also report the result uh, when keep the uh, gold reference anaphora. Uh, as we can see here, for all uh, six different uh, uh, corpus, our system always outperform the previous systems by quite large margins in all the cases. And uh, uh, as we as, as except, expected, our system uh, uh, is not uh, that does not uh, uh, its tolerance uh, its tolerance for the different corpus and the different domains are really robust uh, to that and achieve the relatively uh, similar uh, level results for all the different uh, uh, corpus. So if you are interested in our uh, modules and the code is available, uh, both the pre-trained uh, modules and the code is available in my GitHub page. And thanks for uh, joining us uh, for my talk and thanks for listening.